on Love, Lesko, or Run. Mirror, mirror in my hand, who's the fairest in the land? Tell me a little bit about your style. Magic. <laughs> I love you already. <laughs> Run. 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 We gotta strip down. Uh -oh. I feel like a little nervous, like you can see, like every bit of me, I don't have anything to hide behind. When it comes to personal style, your look says a lot about who you are. But what kind of message are you really sending? Does the world see you the way you see yourself? Well, I asked and I found out. And now I'm going to fix it on Love, Lust, or Run. about your style. The blanket statement that I would use is transmundane. Transmundane? Transmundane. So it's like um, rise above Transcend. the mundane? Transcend. Transcend the yes. mundane. <laughs> I sort of like to wear a lot of steampunk clothing. Explain to me what steampunk is. It mixes Victorian style with a lot of steam-powered machines, things like that. It's a little retro-futuristic. So transmundane is part steampunk and part... Magic. <laughs> I love you already. <laughs> my name's Tori and I'm 20 years old and I'm from Pennsylvania. Welcome to my closet. My style is a little bohemian. I like to wear a lot of like flowy things. Mirror, mirror in my hand, who's the fairest in the land? When I complete a look and I'm ready to go out for the day, I feel confident and excited because I get to show the world the canvas that I painted that day. Okay, um, it's an oil pastel piece. We definitely get a lot of stares. These types of areas aren't really used to um, someone dressing as eccentric as Tori does. I'm currently an art student, and as I'm finding myself in the art world, I know that I will be mixing with people in galleries who are very sophisticated. I do feel a little judged by my appearance. Stacy, I want your help because I want to be approachable to people and have them see me for me and not have to look through a costume. <laughs> What, what is underneath that skirt? So I feel like there's a little renaissance fair going on here, a little punk going on here, a little, um, you know, Orphan Annie and uh, some jazz hands for the hat. It's a lot. It's a lot. Do you feel like you're dressing up in, in costume? Yeah, definitely. I feel like every day I'm playing sort of new character. Right. And do you know when that started or why? Ever since I was about middle school, I, I was really shy. I mean, I'm a little shy still, but I didn't really know how to talk to people. So I just dressed up to sort of make that the conversation started. Sure, of course. And it, has it worked for you? Absolutely. Right. Okay. Well, that's not necessarily a terrible thing. I mean, it, it's kind of fun, but it's also a little bit of like fantasy land, right? Yeah. So what is it that you see for yourself in reality? Right now I'm still in school. What are you studying in school? Fine arts. Have you had any experience in the art world, professional art world? Um, at my college, professional artists, they had like a gallery going on. They were all dressed very sophisticatedly. I just felt like like they didn't really like take me seriously because I was sort of stood out, I guess. They give me super sweet. <laughs> yeah. I think we have to think about what it is that you want to say. Because I think that there are a lot of people who would find you incredibly charming just the way you are. And so that kind of creativity isn't something that I want to get away from. I want to figure out a way to kind of channel that creativity so that you don't feel like you're getting an odd reception anywhere. Okay. But I think it would also be interesting to see how you're being perceived. Yeah. Come with me. This way? Wow. All right. I feel like I'm, wow. <laughs> I feel like we're in some sort of bridal party thing. I just don't want you to trip. All right. We took this look out into the street and we asked people whether they loved your look, lusted after your look, or wanted to run. And let's take a look. Okay. Wow. I was kind of taken by her look. She looks like she's going to some sort of, like, parade. It just looks off-putting, and I would never approach her, probably. What do I think she does for a living? A traveling circus? <laughs> when I look at her, I don't think she can be taken seriously because it doesn't look like she takes herself seriously. I actually like her outfit. It makes me question my fashion sense a little bit. I'd probably run from her. Run. I don't lust it, but I love it. Run. Run. Do any of those negative reactions bother you? Part of me, like, really does care what people think. And then I sort of feel like I'm in my, like, own little fantasy land, little bubble, you know? Nobody said she looks like an artist. So that's the one thing that bothered me about that. You are an artist. You are artistic. 
but that's not coming across because nobody knows where to focus. Yeah, I agree with that. So that is what we need to think about, is how do we incorporate all the things that you love most and put them together in a cohesive style? I'm really excited. You are? Yeah. Okay, good. I'm excited too. <laughs> um, so we got to strip down, uh -huh. right? And we're going to take a, a look at you without all the ruffs and belts and goggles and start from scratch. Okay. So off you go. I definitely also want to get rid of that vest thing. That I feel like is just an accident on a subway platform or an escalator waiting to happen. I'm a little nervous. I'm afraid that she'll make me too dull. I still want to have my creativity expressed and be in my little trans-mundane world. I like the idea of transcending the mundane if mundane is considered boring. But mundane can also mean earthly, down to earth. And I'm worried that Tori is not tethered to anything on the ground. She's like a helium balloon and somebody forgot to tie the string to a pole. <laughs> this is the worst part, removing my eye makeup. I feel like I look really sickly. Do you think steampunk is a good style? I think so. I think it lets people really express some deep down things that they can't express otherwise. Wait, like, what's deep down underneath that style? Potentially suburban rage that you've had growing up in the suburbs. Suburban rage? <laughs> that should be a style on its own. <laughs> I sort of always feel like I have to portray a character. It's like my battle armor. I am able to sort of have a shield up to sort of hide exactly who I am from people in case that's not good enough. I feel like without the costume, no one would be interested in talking to me or getting to know me. <sighs> my skin gets red so easily. My eyebrows look so thin without them drawn in. My dark circles are so bad. I feel like I look really sickly. <sighs> oh, oh, look at you! <laughs> you see? Now you really just look like Alice and not so much <laughs> Mad Hatter. How do you feel without all that schmutz on? That was painful. <laughs> what was painful about it? Just showing my face without all the makeup and all that. I feel a little nervous, like you can see like every bit of me. I don't have anything to hide behind. The clothing that you've been wearing, you said it was a conversation starter because you were shy. Mm -hmm. Are you afraid that anything less would take that attention away from you? Sort of. I'm afraid that I won't be showing my creative spirit. I feel like the way I dress really shows, like, my life and where I want to be, sort of. Really? That's wanting to be in a lot of places at once. You understand my, yeah, my confusion. I, I mean, that's like wanting to be in Wonderland and Bali. You know, there's like a lot of different references there. But I think you could still be just as artistic and creative and eccentric without so much artifice. Here we're gonna figure out what the baseline of your style can feel like that makes you feel comfortable and confident and authentic, and then we'll play around from there. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. All right, ready to go shopping? Yes. Come with me. <laughs> the interesting thing is that I don't hate her style. I think she's got an eye. So it's going to be fun to shop with her, but I think she's also a little bit fragile. And that's partly age and partly her frame. And, I, you know, I don't want to sit on her and crush her, like physically or metaphorically. All right, sweetie, come with me. Welcome to Bird. What they do is very modern in terms of designers and very eclectic in terms of the pieces that they buy. I just want to find a way to kind of keep you looking artistic and still, uh, you know, be a conversation piece. I just wanted something that sort of shows, like, that I'm a free spirit, maybe. Well, I can get you a pair of wings, <laughs> um, but that could mean a lot of things to a lot of different people. You find me a piece that you feel that way about, and let's see if we can build something around that. Okay. All right. Don't just pick tops. Uh, bottoms, yes. Well, we need an outfit. Although it would be kind of funny if I just put somebody in a shirt and underwear now. <laughs> you got this top, right? I was, I was considering this one, but I wasn't sure. See, now this is interesting because this is sort of a modern version of the kind of hippy-dippy trippy thing. Yeah. And if we put this with something that's maybe even sleeker, that that might be a kind of new look instead of trying to be too retro. Mm -hmm. What do you think about a print like that? Um, I don't really like it. I, I don't like when patterns, like, are cut off like that. Like, see how, like, it's half here and then different on this side? Mmm, I do I see that. That's weird minutia you're looking at. <laughs> I'm just asking you what you think about it. It's a romper. What do you think oh, about Oh, that's a that? romper? Yeah. Not Got fitted. a crotch. I don't like how it's not fitted at the waist. I like rompers that are, like, nipped. Okay, my next question is, have you heard of a belt? 
Sometimes I've heard of them. <laughs> what about something like that? Would that ever appeal to you? This is sort of a big circle skirt. I feel like it would be too long. Well, long can be fixed. Anything can be hemmed, okay? But what I worry about here is that this is a lot of fabric for somebody with a small frame. Yeah. So that would be the issue there. Now, is this something that you could ever see yourself wearing if paired with the right accessories? Because this to me is like a little Audrey Hepburn black dress. Honestly, I've never worn anything like that. I can't even envision it right now. Great. <laughs> That's why we're going to get it in your size and we're going to try it on. <laughs> All right. Now, how do you feel something like that? I feel like I look sort of biblical. <laughs> okay, Tori. Oh my God, is this the most conventional you've ever looked in your whole life? I think it might be. <laughs> the one thing I just want to say about this is like, just like this, right? This is a kind of a statement. You could use this for a job interview, cocktail party. There's a lot of things that you could do with this dress. I just feel like I look sort of plain and boring. Okay, but do you think that this could be a blank canvas that you could play with? Yeah, like I think, I think I need more accessories or something. Let's try these heels instead of these sandals. Oh, that's much better. Already you're happier? Yeah. All right. Perfect. When you do high heels, especially when you are petite, you want to be careful about ankle straps or things that cover up your leg too much. Yeah. Because I think if we shorten this dress, uh, it will be in proportion with your actual body line, short torso, longer leg. Exactly. That that ankle strap does not bother me. That ankle strap actually looks like intentional. Yeah. Um, whether you're going for bondage or like a little bit, you know, industrial. Mm -hmm. If we were to put some accessories with this. So now how do you feel about something like that? That does not really um, necessarily go into any of the categories that I've seen you in. But do you see why this kind of works all together yeah. with the outfit? I feel like it adds a little interest to the dress. Look, if I give you this, let me show you an example. If I gave you a doctor's bag, I feel like I basically just turned you into an Upper East Side uh, <laughs> second wife. That doesn't sound like me. It doesn't sound like you at all. But what if we did something like that? Does that still feel totally on you? It doesn't feel like me, but I'm glad at least there's a little more things going on. The more I look at it, I feel like the hat's too casual for the rest of it. We have to find something a little bit less um, contradictory, because that's what I feel is going on with a lot of the styles that you've got going on in your wardrobe now. So let's try something else. All right, now how do you feel on something like that? I feel like I look like sort of physical. Like, <laughs> I feel like I'm about to go traipse through the desert. Does this play into that hippier vibe. I definitely like that the sleeves are a little baggier, has that kind of like bohemian feel. What do you think about that adding a bag like that? I've never really carried like clutches or whatever this is, so I feel kind of weird holding it. Okay. I was really actually talking more about the, the pattern. pattern yeah. and the color palette because that sort of straw color in the clutch really does go with the straw embroidery color in the dress. I like that sort of like burlapy, but then it's like metallic, so it makes it look a little fancier. Fancy burlap. <laughs> That's just what I'm going for. <laughs> Fancy burlap. <laughs> All right, let's try one other thing. Okay, what about tucking that shirt in? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I feel like a human rectangle. <laughs> Would you say that of the things that we've looked at, that these pieces have the most details that are closest to kind of the vibe that you're after? Yeah, I actually do feel that way. I really like the lace and I like the eyelets. I really like these. Those are both textures. So what we're looking at is solid on solid. This is where I would want you to do a print. Something that just adds a little bit of punch to solid colors. We need to find a look that combines all the things that you want in an outfit, shows off your waist, is the right proportion, allows you to be respected, taken seriously, listened to, conversation starter, oh my god, I'm getting overwhelmed with how much work we have to do. And we gotta get you into hair and makeup, so, you know, let's get going. <laughs> I'm hoping for something, like, unique and fun and different, very different. I'm a little afraid that I might come off a little too simple, but I'm really hoping that I zone in on one style that really is the right one for me. So, Tori, when you got here, we talked a little bit about the fact that you had 16 different styles all together on at the same time. And we wanted to find um, a style that felt more cohesive and yet still you. So we did all that, I think, in a really great and beautiful way. And I just want you to remember, this is what you looked like when you got here. And this is what you look like now. <laughs> wow. Am I the same person? <laughs> I don't know. You tell me. Wow. <laughs> Wow.
Well, tell me what you think. What do you feel? I feel like the prettiest girl in the world. Oh my gosh, oh, really? <laughs> Do you feel like this is the type of look that you would get more respect in an art gallery or if you went to show your work to somebody? I think so. It has a sort of feel of like professionalism, but yet it's still fun and a little artsy. I feel like a free spirit. I want to talk a little bit about the outfit because what we tried to do here was give you a little bit of a 70s vibe only because bell bottoms and flares are coming back in and we did this kind of beautiful lace crop top, but we did it with this really conservative, well-fitting navy blazer and then we added the feather vest over it to give it a little bit more character but we cut your hair much shorter in order to frame your face we were losing you in big capey things and sunglasses and things that sort of made you feel like there was so much going on this was all meant to kind of give you cohesion everything's well fitted so i can like stand confidently this isn't something that you'd normally see anywhere else so people will definitely be asking about that you know, we did take this look back out into the street, and it was what we had to say. She looks super classy, sophisticated. She looks stunning. She's confident. She's sexy. She seemed like she would be mature, but very fun also. I would literally buy every single thing she's wearing right now. She definitely could be um, either at an art gallery, an advertising agency. I do think that she's a creative person. I would love her look. Certainly love her look. Love. I would lust for her. Love. <laughs> Love. 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 <laughs> How does that make you feel? It feels nice. Everyone, everyone liked the way I look. And that, that's comforting. The things they said, they all represent really good things. Do you feel like this can still spark conversation, but also maybe make you feel a little bit more confident about having conversation? Mm -hmm. I feel like people won't be staring at my clothes wondering what's going on. They'll actually be wondering like what's coming out of my mouth and like what I'm talking about or what I'm thinking. Yeah, I mean, the amazing thing about the way you look in this to me is like your shoulders are back, you're standing up tall. I mean, as tall as you could be, <laughs> but you know what I mean. And that's great. I mean, I feel like that just attracts people to you. Let's take one more look, one more opinion. Okay. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> Wow, she looks amazing. I can't believe how different she looks. Tori, you know I love you no matter how you look, but this look definitely looks professional and like you're ready to take on the world, and I can't wait to see you in person. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> how does that make you feel? Oh, well, it's comforting to know that he's going to like it. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess it's probably better to know that ahead of time, right? <laughs> so, are you looking forward to going home? No, I want to stay forever. Oh, oh, I'm, <laughs> listen, do you feel like the connection between us is sort of transmundane? I think so. I kind of feel that way, too. <laughs> you transcend any particular style, and, you know, I feel like as your teacher, just for a little while, like, you taught me stuff, too, so we transcended <laughs> that relationship. I'm feeling ecstatic. I love what Stacy has done. I, I, I look gorgeous. I feel a lot more confident, and I feel more put together, and yet I'm still my creative self. I feel light and airy, like a fairy. <laughs>